Hello kiddos and parents. I'm Nirali, your occupational therapist. Today you'll learn how to make your own abacus at home. You'll need any kind of string. In today's video, I'll be using ribbons and yarn. Grab a dining chair and cut a piece of string, leaving enough length to tie on the legs of the chair. Next, grab some manipulatives. I'm going to use colorful round beads, square letter beads, small rubber bands, paper clips, small binder clips, and cut rounds from pool noodle. To start with, tie one end of the string to the chair. Have the child string in around 20 to 25 beads. Threading beads is a great activity for developing pencil grasp and bilateral coordination. Tie the end of the string to the other leg of the chair. Now, tuck three fingers in your palm and use the thumb and pointy finger to slide each bead as you count. Using beads with alphabets can add to the learning experience. You can do letter identification, learn how to spell your name, or even learn to complete a sentence. Rubber bands are known to be super stretchy and serve as a very good fidgets for sensory seekers. For fine manipulation skills, you can use paper clips. Slide open the end of the paper clip, insert it on the string and turn the paper clip. This is a very good activity for developing bilateral integration skills. Rotate each clip as you count, reinforcing your in-hand manipulation skills. Binder clips are great for developing finger strength and a powerful pincer grasp. Press and clip the binder clip on the string. Use larger binder clips for more resistance. For preschoolers, pool noodle rings are a great way to learn color identification and develop eye-hand coordination. Grab different colored pool noodles and cut into 2 inch rings or circles. For very young learners, pool noodles can help develop palmer grasp and also separate the power side of the hand from the skill side. The skill side refers to the side with the thumb, index and tall finger. The pinky and ring finger make the power side of the hand. The power side provides stability while the skill side moves freely to manipulate objects. Use different colors in a pattern will help build pattern and sequencing skills. Go ahead, make your own version with the abacus and share your pictures with me.